You're watching News 54. Dr. Boney, a former senator from Kakamega County, has come out to reveal the powerful position that will be given to Mudavadi if he joins DP Ruto's camp in 2022. According to Kenyon's website, Boney stated that they will give Mudavadi the position of deputy president if he agrees to join DP Ruto's camp. No one knows, however, whether Mudavadi will accept this offer. Anyway check out this video Boney reacting to CSs who attended Ryla's Kasarani event. Siku kama ya leo ya jamuri ni, ni siku ya maana sana. Vila, vile kila wa Kenya wanajua. Lakini tunalazimishka kufikiria mambo ya kisiasa ambayo mefanyika uh, wiki hii wiki hii vile mmeona aliyekuwa prime minister Raila Odinga alikuwa na kongamano la kuidhinisha uh, azma yake ya kuwa rais ambayo ni kitu mzuri constitutionally na kisheria but it concerns me kwamba kwa sherehe ya maana kama hiyo ambayo serikali ya Kenya ilitumia rasmali za umma kumsaidia deputy uh, mheshimiwa prime minister inaweza tumika mbali na kutumia vibaya ya rasmali ya umma wamechukua afisi za serikali pia wakatumia vibaya na maanisha kwamba ile security yenye tuliona hapo haikuwa security ambayo ilikuwa ya chama hiyo ilikuwa state security sisi kama wanasiasa tukifanya mikutano yetu huwa tunatumia our youth, our security wing amongst the youth to take care of our security needs. Lakini hii ni kitu ambayo ilitumiwa na Ministry of uh, Internal Security to the hilt. Na hii sisi kama wanasiasa tunasema ni kutumia vibaya Ministry of Internal Security haistahili kutumika katika mambo ya siasa. Jambo la pili wa Kenya mliona tulikuwapo hapo na wafanyikazi wa serikali haswa cabinet secretaries Peter Munya alikuwa pale niliona Eugene Wamalu akiwa pale e, Kariuki alikuwa pale na wengine ambao e, wadetajwa majina yao We want to tell the president hata kama anataka kuendelea kumdanganya Raila hizi hiyo udanganyifu akasukuma mpaka akaleta if they were functioning under the rule of law we would have asked them to do the honorable thing ambayo ni kwamba wachiuzulu waingie katika siasa somebody like Eugene Wamalwa it is very clear kwamba Eugene Wamalwa has never had his heart in the ministry he has always hanged there ili apate nafasi ya kufanya siasa watu kama hao wanastahili wachiuzulu ndio tuende kiwanjani na sisi tutafute kura kama wa Kenya wana prefer wao wapatie kama wana prefer this what chukue this question of misusing state resources and offices ndio kitu yenye sisi tunasema is wasteful it is unacceptable and it is illegal for what wa maragua kuwaomba wapeane msamaha kwa ile maneno wa watu wa security wao walifanya mp wa maragua it the, the odm should not have waited for that demand hiyo ni kitu ambayo ilikuwa automatic but kwa sababu mambo ya violence ndio DNA ya ODM ODM haizi kuona makosa yoyote kulingana na ile maneno mheshimiwa wa, wa Marakwa alitendewa personally if you ask me the person to blame is IEBC